Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to the State Department store for some souvenirs, arts, and crafts because really what's better way to showcase Mongolian tradition and culture? Here we're looking at the map of Mongolia with its 21 provinces and you can see the city Ulaanbaatar here. There's a lot of cool sculptures of Mongolian warriors on their horses and of course, Chinggis Khan and sculptures of the warship of Great Mongolian Army from the 13th century. These horses played important roles during their battles and you see some more warrior figures here um, depicting how they looked like back then. And those warriors were skilled in horsemanship, herding and hunting. As you can see, there are two humped camels or bachin camels and caravans used as transportation and swords, knives, and handmade crafts. Also, a Mongolian instrument called horse head fiddle. Now we're looking at dolls made of wood representing different tribes and ethnic groups with their traditional clothes and accessories. There are some royal kings and queens and um, warrior figures. And what you see is yurt or uh, what's called Mongolian gear. Um, the structure of a gear is made of wood and sheep wool felt. And if you look inside of the gear, you, there's usually the stove in the middle, um, chest, table, and a bed. Now, what you see here is Mongolian traditional clothing called Dao. Its design varies depending on their ethnic groups and their cultures. This one is Kazakh ethnic group clothing and accessories and um, you know, some more hair headwear and hats and more of the Kazakh patterns, which really pretty designs there. Here we have slippers made of felt and leather and uh, another popular tradition is gifting silver and bronze cups and bowls and there's some customized silverware too. Here are some uh, stuffed toys and accessories, uh, fur, printed scarves, and uh, last but not least, these chess sets are really popular gift as well with its wooden pieces and different designs of its own. I hope this vlog was informative for you. Please stay tuned for part two and I'll see you in the next vlog.